We're here with Queensland Reds coach Les Kiss. Super Rugby Pacific season, done and dusted. Some fine achievements by the Reds. Now we're hitting a part of the season where there's some really exciting matches for Queensland. Um, give us an update, uh, Les. Uh, 13 players from the Reds in the Wallaby squad, which is a huge achievement in that first 38-man squad. Uh, how much satisfaction for yourself and the other coaches? Yeah, look, from a coaching perspective, absolutely, you know, we're wrapped with that for sure. Um, you know, I'd like to give kudos to the whole professional uh, rugby department management. You know, the work that they've put in, I, I, you saw the joy in their face when these, these names were announced. Um, and, it's, and it's huge for the, for the whole group. You know, they've put a lot of work in this year and you know, the players have really um, you know, flourished because of that work. So to get 13 involved in that first Wallaby squads with Joe is, is fantastic. That's been trimmed since. Um, but you know, it's ideal that we're getting more and more players having a glimpse of what it takes. Uh, to get there, uh, and hopefully we can get more in the in the test team now. Uh, a really positive development for Queensland Rugby is hatching a international program, so you do get to extend that match intensity beyond Super Rugby. Uh, there's a match on July 19 that a lot of people are waiting for, uh, a match Queensland against Wales. How how big is that for Queensland Rugby? You know, Wales are a massively big team in the Northern Hemisphere. You know, I've, I've, coached against them a number of times um, in the Six Nations. This is huge. Uh, for our boys to be exposed to a team like uh, Wales is going to be uh, serve them so well going forward. You know, they're a gritty team. They play a different way to most other teams. You know, the Gatlin style that is embedded in Wales culture now, it, it's going to be a massive experience for our boys. It'll be a tough, tough, tough test for us. Uh, but for our, t our club to embrace those ideas is um, fantastic for us. Um, we play Tonga the week after. Uh, so those types of experiences are going to be great for our whole program. So, yep, a very important weekend for us, um, the 19th. Uh, get out there and support us. Um, as always, you, you get curveballs. Uh, you've got a few injuries to deal with. Uh, Taj Annan, Suliasi, Vunivalu, Cormac Daly, uh, just to name a couple. Uh, can you give us an update on where their injuries are at? Yeah, Cormac at this stage won't be able to play against Wales or Tonga. He's going to be ready for the... Uh, the Wild Night series when we travel to Japan later. Uh, Kalani Thomas had foot surgery recently. He's uh, probably 12 to 14 weeks away. I'm, I'm not sure if he'll make the Japanese series either. Uh, Taj, uh, unfortunately, I was out at the uh, South versus Brothers match recently um, and he has injured uh, his other foot, which is the syndesmosis injury. He's had surgery. He's probably up to six weeks out. Um, and Sully, unfortunately, had an MCL injury, so he's up to six weeks out as well. Uh, so those, those four injuries are a bit unfortunate for them, so they'll all miss the Wales game. Uh, that suggests uh, that you have to look a little bit wider than your current squad, uh, perhaps for that uh, match squad against uh, Wales. So a few eyeballs on the Store Local Hospital Cup um, league competition uh, in Queensland to, to maybe fill a few of those holes. Yes, yeah, certainly. Obviously, um, anyone who's been in the program will try to um, make sure that works first, uh, but definitely, you know, you know, my coaches have been out to coaching sessions with the clubs, we've gone out to watch the games, um, you know, I've got my eye on a couple of players for sure, and uh, we'll probably invite one or two in at least um, from next week to train with us, but that's going to be important, and if, if, and if we do get one or two of those guys, what a great experience for them, you know what I mean, for people to come out of the store local cup into our program and play against Wales, well, that'd be a brilliant story, wouldn't it? Just over the last week, we've had uh, two very exciting signings for the Reds for 2025 with uh, Filippo Dalgunu and also Josh Canham. Uh, is there even a chance of someone like Josh Canham being made available to play against Wales on that July 19 date? There's a possibility. Uh, Josh will join us uh, next week in, in, in training, um, so we'll see how he goes. Uh, obviously, the, he hasn't played for a while and had a lot of training uh, since that game. Uh, their last match with the Rebels. So, uh, yeah, look, Josh will be a chance, but uh, look, we'll, we'll make those decisions as the week goes on. You know, we'll also possibly have, you know, you know, some Wallabies that may come back and play for us as well. And those, those discussions will happen with Joe, and if he needs them to play some game time, that's also a possibility. But uh, it's exciting, isn't it, with Filippo also joining us and, and Josh joining us. I, I think that's been welcomed by everyone. To, to elaborate on July 19. Queensland haven't played against Wales since 1991. I mean, that's a lifetime mm, yeah. ago. John Eels, Tim Horan were playing mm. in those days. Mm. Um, can you give us some perspective of how rare and how 
how grand this opportunity is for uh, players in the squad, but maybe that one or two local players who get a chance to step up and play against a, a serious international side. You only have to, uh, when you talk to the, to the Eelses and the, and the Horrans and, and all those guys who had those experiences, it, it, for some reason it happened regularly, didn't it, back then? And it seemed to have drifted out of the game. So you know, I was very keen, as was Sam and, and Dave, to actually try and engage this type of um, uh, experience for the uh, for the Reds and um, it's something that's sort of been lost hasn't it so yeah they're as rare as hand teeth at the moment so to be able to get that opportunity to play against uh, the the well the Welsh Dragon is going to be an exciting affair um, you know, hopefully we can also organize some more in the future against our incoming tours as well uh, but it's important for us um, I know that uh, our group of players they'll be better for it when it'll come through, you can't say, but I know that it'll come through in our game somewhere by having these experiences. And, uh, and it's not just the players, it's, it's, it's also the staff. You know, to be actually engaged at that level is, is also a great learning experience for them. Um, but look, the 19th of July, it's, uh, it's an occasion that's rushing upon us. We, we'll see the Welsh team play the Wallabies a couple of times in between. So you know, that should whet the appetite of anyone. Uh, so get out the Suncor, please.